Welcome to Star Wars Action News, helping Star Wars collectors collect better. We got Darth Vader, and he too is a very muscular man. Now, I've been reading in that fan club magazine that David Prowse was a bodybuilder and a trainer, so I suppose he should be muscular, but he seems to be like... 90s Arnold Schwarzenegger muscular instead of David Prowse's 1970s muscular. There was just a different physique back then. There was. It wasn't as big and sculpted now as it was back then. I don't think that Darth Vader is as built as Han or Luke. And I kind of think that Darth Vader should be a lot bigger. Yeah, he should be quite a bit taller. David Prowse was a tall man. I just think I don't remember him having the giant biceps in the movie. You just don't think of Vader as imposing in that way. He's no Jean-Claude. I mean, honestly, all these figures, I expect, I am Hans and I am Vader and we are here to pump you up. (laughs) But like Obi-Wan, Vader only comes with one accessory, the lightsaber, so they've advertised his removable cloak. Now, I don't like this as much. I know you liked what they did with Obi-Wan, but... I kind of miss the old vinyl capes they did because this one, I like that it's sculpted and I like that it's got some flow to it and I like that I can kind of tripod stand him up, but when it comes off, he really looks weird. He looks ridiculous. I don't know why they'd say removable cloak is a feature. I don't know why you'd make that a selling point. It just means that three years from now, when all the kids have forgotten about these toys, you're just going to have a whole bunch of nudie Vaders running around. Nudie Vaders. That said, I mean, they did a great job with the helmet sculpt. I like that they painted all the different buttons on his chest. Oh, I think that looks tremendous. I think that his chest looks great. I think that the mask is okay. It's not great. I think it could be a little better. I kind of like it. And they did a good job with the quilting of his arms and legs. Yeah, his outfit was like quilted and padded, and it looked really good. And I think this looks really good. It it gives that same kind of look, not quite the feel of it, I imagine, but the biceps he's got. So. And then we get to the Stormtrooper, which is, of course, such a cool, cool figure and great character from the movie. Now, I remember growing up, I had one Stormtrooper, and my sister told me that I should have more. I'm thinking about going back to the store and buying one more, maybe two more. I might buy three Stormtroopers. Three seems like about the right number. I'm only going to buy one of each of the vehicles. Since they don't come with figures, that's fine. But for the figures, for Stormtroopers, if you're okay with it, I know it's a stretch on the budget. It's 10 extra dollars. I just, I think I'll go with three. You know, I think I'm okay with that because you're right. And it's not like you have to buy three of a bunch of other figures. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at how few they're doing. And the Stormtrooper looks pretty good. He's Stormtrooper-y. He's a bit thick like the rest of them. He's in the style that fits with the other figures they've made. It's like he's wearing a corset as well, though. He has a super, super tiny waist. But he does match Luke and Han, so, you know, they could wear this outfit. When they storm the Death Star. That's right. I need to mail away because I'm sure that's exactly what they did with that Fruit Loops figure, that Han Solo with removable helmet. I need to remember to mail away for that before it's too late and I'll just never, ever see one again. I love that the Stormtrooper comes with two guns because, you know, you'd see him with the different weapons in the movies and things. And I can just imagine someday if I'm ever rich having just like a floor full of these troops and recreating that seen from Return of the Jedi with all of the stormtroopers there greeting the Emperor when he comes. That would look really cool and really impressive. So I think he's okay. Now the last figure, I couldn't find him in stores. My friend Ed manages a KB Toys and he checked and he hasn't seen one of these in a while. It's Princess Leia. Finally, Ed was able to find a guy who was able to get one. So I hope you don't mind. I went and met Ed in a parking lot and bought this figure for $40. This sounds kind of shady. You met him in a parking lot? Sounds like a weed deal. (laughs) Did you look at the figure before you paid $40 for it? Yeah, that's kind of the irony is it's the most I paid and it's the worst figure in the line. But I searched. Brad and I went 
to four different cities looking for a Princess Leia. And I just think they're never going to ship her again. I will never see this figure again in my life. So if I paid $40 so I can sleep at night and I have this figure, that's nice. But uh, I believe she has what they call a butterface. Yeah, this looks like it could be an extra from Congo. It's kind of got a simian impression going on here. Yeah, it kind of does. And honestly, they did some bad things with her outfit. I understand what they're trying to do and make it look like there's some flow to her outfit, but it made her look like she's just got a huge butt. Well, they didn't advertise this because she came with two weapons, the laser pistol, and they put it in quotes like it's laser <laughs> pistol and an assault rifle. So they didn't advertise the removable cape, which she does have, but I never realized her outfit actually had two capes. So you can take it all the way down. She's got like a skirt she's wearing and then a cape in addition to the skirt. Why did they mold her leg like that? Because they made her bow legged. Probably so she stands of all the figures because of her tiny feet. She yeah. falls the most. They put holes in her feet. Maybe I need to find one of those old play sets. I still have all my old play sets. Maybe get out the old Death Star and see if the pegs fit. And what I find really funny is they sculpted a belt on her on the base body, and then when you put on the skirt, there's another belt that goes over the belt. That is very odd. I don't know how I feel about that all the removable clothing. But yeah, the face, it reminds me of the scene in Spaceballs where the stunt doubles come out. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a little ashamed that I paid this much, but at least I know I have this figure and I'll never find it again. So the weapons too, again, going back, I remember... Princess Leia figures, they all came with the same gun. And I had such a problem. My mom kept vacuuming up Leia gun after Leia gun because it would get lost in our shag carpeting. <laughs> shag carpeting. That'll never come back in style. <laughs> it's so hideous. And here, it's very similar. It's that really tiny gun. I guess women can't handle big guns. That's true. We can't. But it's got more definition. It's got like some ribbing at the end and... It's a much longer gun than the old one was. But yeah, overall, I think this is a good thing to have Star Wars figures again. I just hope they can keep making figures till the re-releases of the movies in about a year and a half. I'm really excited to see those, aren't you? Yeah, I'm sure that they're just going to make great movies even better. Yeah, I have and, such fond memories of watching those movies. And every fan's going to love them unanimously, I'm sure. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Star Wars Action News with more collecting news and reviews at SWActionNews.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. May the pegs be stopped and the force be with you.